I wanted to make this video real quick because I am extremely pissed off and really disappointed with Canon. I started back in, what, 2007? Uh, when I got into photography, I had a Rebel XSI. After that, I had a T2i, a 60D, and then I got the 6D. I had the 24 to 105, 17 to 40. I've had you know the nifty 50, the 40 millimeter pancake, uh, multiple 70 to 300s. I, I've had almost every lens under the sun that Canon's made over the past 15 years, 20 years. I absolutely love them. Now I feel like I've outgrown them in a sense because Canon won't make a product that's right for me. They won't make one product that's just right for me. So I've moved to Panasonic with, I had the, G, uh, the G7, GH4, I currently have the G85, and I'm going to buy a GH5. I recently just, I've sold almost all my Canon gear, and I bought a Fuji X-T2 with an 18 to 55 and 35, 35 millimeter lenses, and the battery grip as well. I'm very excited for that camera, it arrives today actually. The point I'm trying to make here is that Canon have completely screwed me over. People like me, guys who have a small production business, who do corporate videos or do, <clears throat> um, like I do CrossFit stuff, uh, Olympic lifting stuff, and I do, I, I used to do car reviews, you know, product reviews, things like that. They won't give us a camera that's an all-in-one if you're not willing to spend at least $3,500 to get a 5D Mark IV. But you get a 5D Mark IV and then you have to go get CFast cards because they won't allow you to record 4K onto a UHS-2 card, which Panasonic will with the GH5. It, it's, it's crazy to me to think that, that Canon won't even let us do simple things. I don't mind that the 5D Mark IV is so expensive. It's a great camera. It's a great all-in-one. It's become a better all-in-one since the most recent firmware update that's taken the uh, crop 4K crop factor down from 1.79 times to like 1.35 or something like that, 1.31, something like that. And that's great. But I, I was a 6D shooter. I was a 6D shooter. I was waiting for the 5D Mark IV. They bring out the 5D Mark IV and it's just this gargantuan camera that has things that are great, but it doesn't allow me to dial it down to use it in a, in a smaller fashion in a sense. In a sense of, I don't want to record 500 megabits per second to a CFAS card. I'd like to record one or 200 megabits to an SD card. But the GH5 allows me to record 400 megabits to UHS-2 cards. I mean, come on, this is crazy. It's literally about to start raining here in any second now. But that's what pisses me off. And so Canon, I was waiting for the 6D Mark II. I was a loyal supporter. I was a fanboy. I was an enthusiast. I was an apologist for you, for everything you did wrong. But no more. I'm done. My 6D is sold. That ship has sailed. I do not use Canon stuff anymore. Except for a 90s model 28mm f2.8 that I really love. That's the only lens I'm keeping. Only lens I'm keeping out of everything else. I've had the EOS M, EOS M2, EOS M3, T2i, 60D, my girlfriend has 60D, 6D, and the Rebel XSI. That's what, eight cameras? And, and by the way, just as a, as a final note, as a final note, just real quick. The 6D Mark II body only is $2,000. I happily spent $2,500 on the uh, Fuji X-T2 battery grip and two lenses. I could have spent the same amount of money getting your camera. By the way, also you need to talk to your people and tell them to, why are you trying to advertise a 6D Mark II as, <laughs> as a, get this, as a step up from your smartphone camera? Last time I checked, I have an iPhone 7 Plus with 256 gigs in it, and it has 4K recording. So you're already screwing up on that. And by the way, why the hell do I want to sit there and listen to somebody tell me, well, it has a flip out screen for selfies. Why do I want to use a two pound or I mean, over two pounds, almost three pounds, maybe four pounds with a lens as a selfie camera? I have an iPhone for that. I have a smartphone for that. But then you go and you say, well, it's a photographer's camera. Okay. It can be both. It can be a selfie camera, it could be a selfie video, video camera, it could be a vlog camera, it could be a photographer's camera, it could be all those things. But pick a narrative and stick with it. You can't say that it's a step up from a smartphone 
when it's only a step up from a smartphone in terms of photography. Because I'll be using the 4K on my phone because I can't use the 4K on my camera that costs $2,000. 1080 60 frames per second is excellent. By the way, you put a headphone jack on the 80D, but you didn't put a headphone jack on the 6D Mark II? It's entry level full frame, but that doesn't mean it's entry level. God, I mean, what the shit is that? Seriously, you gotta get your shit together. Maybe I'll be back later if you make a product that gives a damn about what I do. Until then, I'm done, I'm out. You and stop telling me that I don't need 4K or that if I want 4K, I can go buy the XC15 or I can go buy, you know, the new C200. I can buy this. I, can buy I want one. One. And honestly, I feel betrayed.